I'm Mark Hood, uh, one of the chef lecturers at the uh, Bucks and Lee College, part of the University of Derby. Uh, I've been working here for quite a few years. Uh, Uniquely to our department, 100% of us who work in the department are all ex-students. So we can see what you, you need to know from our point of view and we can see it from your point of view. I started off at High Peak College uh, many, many years ago mm -hmm. and I always remember the first question the chef lecturer asked me on the group, what would you like to do in your future career? And I said, I'd like your job. Wind the clock very far forward and here we are. I am now here. Thanks, Mark. I'm Gary Hammond. Like my colleague, I am one of the chef lecturers at Bucks and Elite College. I too went to High Peak College, so we understand what it's like to be a student and the pressures it does create. We've both been in the industry in numerous high class places, too many to mention at the moment, and also have a long uh, teaching career. We know what the students need uh, and we're always here to help. Whatever questions you want, just ask us. Talking of careers, as, as my colleague Gary just said, we've both got a very wide and long service history in the industry. I've worked all over the world, Central America, South America, Europe, East Asia, working in various establishments from working in ski lodges to working with the Royal Family for several years, leading on to what we do at the college. We've got some really good success stories, which we'll talk about a bit later on with some of the students. I mean, for one example, I've got a young gentleman that's working on a million pound yacht in Polynesia. And Gary's got a few other ones. Yeah, we've got uh, one of the uh, success stories we had was Tina, who was one of our level three students, and she uh, went off to Japan uh, doing pastry in one of the first ever Michelin star restaurants that, uh, that was out there. Uh, we've got um, Jordan, who's down at the middle, and the French, who is literally second chef, head chef, a uh, very prestigious place. Everything's possible to get if you put your head down and work hard. I mean, that's probably enough about us just for the moment, but what, what is in it for you guys when you come to this, if you choose to book to the college? I, we can only talk about the culinary programmes at the moment, but basically we've got several routes to go. But if we can break it down into four sections, we've got apprenticeships, which Gary will talk about in a minute briefly, and the mainstream. We've got the entry level, uh, sorry, and Gary can talk about that, but the level one, professional chef certificate, basically come in, we get an insight into all aspects of the kitchen, from stocks, sauces, soups, fish, meat, etc., and all the operational procedures. That then goes on to the level two, where we look at them more in depth, and we focus more on the, pro rather than just the process, we're doing actual the practical activities, and then eventually we move on to the level three, which is like an A-level course, which gives you UCAS points to move on to the university, where we go in more depth. And it's called complex dishes. So for an example, using a chef's analogy, if you're on level one, we're making a stew, we give you the diced meat and some veg, you put it in a pan and you boil it, season it and serve it. Level two will give you the meat and then you will dice it, again, cook it, maybe put a dumpling on. Level three will have the whole cow, we will butcher that in a class, and we'll move on and do that in a fine dining situation. And all these run over a year, so each course is a year, so potentially you could do three years or more. I'll pass on to Gary to talk about the entry level and the... Yeah, the entry level is, is designed for uh, students who are not that academic and haven't got the uh, correct uh, maths and English to get onto the courses. So we run this entry level, it's, it runs alongside the PCC, uh, but it is designed more for the maths and English for you as well. The apprentices we do because some students want to go out and work. So we run a day course, uh, six hours on a Monday, designed purely for apprentices. Uh, it's on a commie chef uh, and you will learn everything that is needed for your establishment. Uh, and then, like I said, you've po got the possibility to go on to full time if you would like to. And also... Obviously, when we join these courses, you can see myself and Gary and Chef's White. That is a part of the course. We're actually going to be on study programmes, so there's a lot more included in them, which I'm not going to go into in depth because I don't want to frighten you off, but when we speak to somebody about your course, they will inform you about it. But it will involve the theoretical aspects of the course, also lots of practical. Everybody will have the opportunity. In fact, we encourage everybody to get a, have a placement, which will either be set up by our placement officers, by our contacts, or even by yourselves. 
And then the, um, the, the, the goal of your course is to actually get you ready for realistic working, which you'll practice in the college with myself and Gary in what we call RWE areas, realistic working environments. The restaurant. The restaurant where we, I'll let Gary talk about that briefly. Yeah, the, the RWE is like, we'd actually have uh, paying customers. We design the menus, uh, order the food, but it, it's as though you were working in the kitchens uh, and you will work back with me and you will work the front with another colleague. So you will split between the kitchen and waiting on. Um, not everybody wants to be a chef. Sometimes people want to be waiters, waitresses, and maitre d's, etc., etc. But the realistic working environment is uh, an important part of your course. It gets you ready for industry, employable ready, where we're learning all the aspects about working safely, wearing uniforms, about your pay, conditions, etc. We will do enrichment where we can offer you things like boxing, volleyball, etc., etc. We'll also do competitions local competitions, in-house competitions, national competitions and international competitions. As a team, myself and Gary have been very successful over the past years. We've, we've won the Northwest Comedy of the Year mm -hmm. several, on several occasions and that has opened the door for our participants in there. We've mentioned Jordan who is now the second chef at the French in Manchester. He won one of the accolades and lots and lots of other good openings plus networking and career path. Basically, all we have to do, guys, is come, enjoy yourself, and we will help you. Uh, and that is it, with whatever you would like to do. Because we're here to help you. We want to install our passion into what, to give you our passion that we've evolved over the years, to pass it on to you guys. We've all been students, a pair of us especially. We've been there, we've been sat at the other side of the desk with our parents talking to us, or guardians. But equally, it's about just life skills and getting on and enjoying the job. It is an enjoyable course. It's a hard career, but at the end of the day, it's, it's down to you. What you put into it is what you'll get of it. The one thing is that we are very, very lucky to have a Books and Elite College's fantastic facilities. Uh, the kitchens are really well set out. We have four kitchens that we do tend to work. We have an international kitchen where we do uh, Asian cuisine, Indian cuisine, Chinese cuisine. So it's not just a case of coming in and learning how to chop an onion, make a stew, do a chicken kiev. We are wide and varied in what we do. And like I said, we have four kitchens all professionally kitted out. You'll be exposed to all the equipment that you were using in the industry in some shape or form. The bit about the course for actually achieving the course, it's ongoing assessments. And again, at this stage, we're not going to swamp you down to go through the modules and the courses. That will all be discussed on induction or on an interview. But it is an ongoing assessment process. But as uh, Gary and myself are saying, we would welcome you on board. We're all here to talk to you through ourselves, through marketing, and make it a good career. As you can see, we're, we're quite young and sprightly, and it's not doing any harm at all. Not really. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.